Alrighty then guys, bringing you guys another video on this thing again. Good old midnight here. Uh, this is like the second oil change I'm going to be doing on this thing. And I already got the oil pan catch can down there. And yeah, I just got the tools out. And 20W50, which I'm going to run in this thing because this engine is pretty, pretty worn out. And I got the new fill filter from uh, Fram. So let's get cracking on this. Let's hope that this is the right fucking socket to start. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. This is really a good idea to start off a fucking video on a windy day. Just to give you guys a credit. <laughs> a warning that it's a fucking windy. So I hope the video is not going to turn out like absolute shit. Alright. Alright, finally got it. It's it's starting to get windy out. It just started getting windy. Let's hope that the nothing doesn't get ape shit over here. So this uh, it's like a of course a good old five eighths. This oil pan seems like it's leaking. I don't know from where. Maybe gaskets is probably probably starting to go out, but the oil plug is back there. Let me uh, start. It's been a long time since I did an oil change on this thing. Ah, oh, fuck. Hold on. It's fucking seized in place. Yeah. I don't think this video is going to turn out right, but I'll try to make it best as I can here. But finally got it broke loose. It's been a real... I think the last oil change was back in uh, February. But... Let's get this fucking thing out of here. And let's hope. The best trick, this is one tip if you're changing oil. Like if you feel that the, if you don't want to get your hands all oiled up, like right when it starts coming out, just. See, I didn't even get my hand covered in oil. That's one tip right there. That shit does look pretty black. But, uh, yeah. The reason why I'm doing the, uh, engine oil change so early because I've been running kind of wrong oil in this car um, I supposed to run thicker oil because it's a high mileage car and it has the pistons are pretty worn and all that shit and doing this pretty early I don't know it's just money down the drain kind of situation but I was been running thin oil 0w30 that I ran in this thing full succetic uh, mobile one oil which that's not pretty good for uh, high mileage cars so so I'm just gonna change it with thicker oil which is that shit over there 20 20 w50 which I'm gonna run in this thing and um, yeah while the shit drains this is a uh, oh fuck starting to get windy again <laughs> but this oil filter Talk about a bitch to get to. It's right there. It's kind of like slanted down. Like slanted down and it's it's hard to get to because you have this plastic fucking piece in the way. But it's right below the alternator. It's pretty a fucked up place to put it. But uh, yeah, I'll get to that after this thing's done draining. But that does sure look pretty black though. Last oil change back in February. Wow. Even for a car that has high mileage, this, this car only has 192,000 miles. And the engine's kind of worn out due to running it on cheap oil. Uh, there's like a oil sticker on the uh, windshield. But, uh, yeah, it's, I don't know. They ran cheap oil in this thing. The previous owner did that. And on the first oil change that I did it, a lot of metal shavings came out of the oil pan. And, yeah. Shit's kind of something else. I need to change the uh, rack of pin and steering soon. It's kind of leaking on that side. Alright, I'm back. I've been quite fucking yelling and all that. My blood pressure is kind of going through the roof here, but 
Finally, I kind of bent the shit out of it by using those pliers over there. Oh, fuck, you guys can't see that, but there's some pliers over there. Seems like it, I think I threw it over that pot, but I used pliers to get that off. I uh, couldn't get it off with the oil filter wrench. I don't know, it's shit been on there for so long, but it's kind of been draining away. I think I spent like fucking six minutes on this bullshit, and it's just... You know, every time I make an oil change video or some shit like this, even the one on the accent didn't go as planned. Jesus Christ. You know, like, even for a YouTuber like me, I try to, like, keep my anger down and shit like that. It's just that it's, like, fucking hard. Like, literally, it's, like, stress and shit just to make things right. That's not even the fucking right way. But, I don't know, this fucking wrench. I just gotta get it snugged, and that's snug enough. Of course, as usually, grab your goddamn paper towels and, like, wipe it clean. And, yeah. I just fucking cut myself. <laughs> Now I got oil in my fucking blood veins now. But let's get this lousy cocksucker over here out of here. I like to shove this up someone else's ass. Oh well, I can't even fucking turn up my fucking hand! Had to break out the good old uh, fucking pliers over here again, which I threw over the goddamn pot. But back again, taking this fucking filthy whore out of here. Piece of shit. Ah, oh, you cocksucker. Look at this. I'll be back when this fucking thing drains out. I think shit's gonna hit the fucking fan here. Ah, uh. oh, fuck me. Look at that. You can see it's all bent up because of me just trying to take it off with the pliers. But it's sure been a while. Sure been a while. So, let's see. I'll get back to you guys right after I get resituated here. Get everything back in order. Fresh out of the box. The Fram Extra Guard. I think th these are the oil filters that I like. It has like that grip shit sprayed on there so you can take it off without the oil filter. Besides that thing I had to yell at just to get it off. And again, this is the oil I'm going to be running into it. 20W50 motor oil. This shit is thick. And when you run this in your car, literally it has a hard time cranking over. Like it, it puts a, more of a load on the starter motor to start it. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, just gotta wait until that drains out. I have to get everything resituated here. Shit's getting blown all over the place. Because it's just, it just got windy here again. Dirt did blue in my eyes. Alright, so we got the oil filter right here. About to put it back up there. Yeah, the thing I was saying why I like these oil filters, these Fram ones, is it's got that grip thing on the end so you can just take it off, turn it on by hand. Sorry if this video might be a bit sideways and a bit off. It's just that uh, it's windy and there's dirt getting in my eyes. I just want to get this shit over with. So, you know, like you just tighten it up by hand. I know you guys don't want to see this. Fuck this. Alright, then I finally got the oil filter on. The one thing about these Hyundais is mostly on these older ones. When you have to change oil or any fluids, you always have to have it on a jack. These cars really sit low. Even if it's on stock suspension. Put that fucking shit over there and let's put it down on the jack. 
Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, at least I got it off the really, really good uh, 1.5 ton racing jack. <laughs> Start putting the oil in, shall we? Alright, got everything well, nice, and put away. So I have, so I don't have to worry about screwing up this video even more by tripping. But yeah, here's the waste oil right here. As you can see my reflection. I can see a little bit of smearing of blue in there. I don't know what's that all about. I uh, know it's not going to show on camera, but yeah, got all the tools put in the way and all that. Got all this situated here. I don't think this is a good sign right here, all that milky shit on your oil cap. But, yeah, let's just get the shit over with. Uh, I can't do this one-handed, but I'll try. <laughs> Alrighty then guys, finally got the oil in, it was such a bitch because it was spilling all over the fucking place, but I managed to clean it up, but yeah everything's all put away and all that, got all the oil in, got the fill filter in, or not fill filter, oil filter in, got the oil in, oil plugs all tightened up, keys right here and let's... Start up good old midnight over here. Shit. So, yeah. Sure has a harder time cranking over now. It takes a while for that lifter knock to go away, especially after an oil change. But yeah, again, that's the uh, old stuff right there. It's at the fill f uh, oil filter. God damn, I keep saying the fill filter all a lot. But yeah, that's the uh, Mobile One oil I'm running that Super Tech oil in this thing. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I hope this video pretty much helps. Sorry for all the cursing and shit going downhill. I was actually expecting for this video to come out more better, but it's just that... It's just, everything doesn't go as planned, and it's just... I don't know, I, I chose the wrong time doing this. It's all windy. But, yeah, like again. I uh, hope this video helps. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Make sure your channel notifications are on, and see you guys in the next video. Peace! Before ending this video, a lot of people keeps asking what my Instagram is. It's jrjohannison396. And you can do all the follow-ups of some of the stuff that I'm going to be putting on the channel soon. But, uh, yeah, I'll put it in the description down below, but, yeah. See you guys.